So, why is this water filthy, dirty green in this vat over here? We get up on the top, it's nice and clear, although it's dirty, which is natural muck for the wee beasties. And also over here, is it also nice and clear. Now I've switched the water feature off for about a week but the reason for this being clear is Daphnia the best way, natural way to get rid of a green water or algae in your water feature it'll not work with a pond because your fish will actually eat it because that's what it is, it's a live fish food now then, let's get an inverted fish tank out so we can inspect it and have a closer look at this magic incredible beastie so the first thing we're going to do is just stick some little cement feet in here for the vase to sit on There we go, nearly smashed the leg. Just needs an attractive top on now. And here's one I prepared earlier. Beautiful. But now for the magic, and that's to fill it up with water so we can have a look at some of the beasties inside of here. And hopefully it'll not break. So piece of pipe, shove the pipe under. And in it goes. Just like that. Then all you do is suck the air out. And there we go, one vase full of mucky water and I'll just grab a plant and for this one we've just got some nice bunch of Valoria which as you can see that pool is not deep enough for it would just end up lying over but with the inverted tank That will be standing up. Now then, let's just give this 10 minutes and then we'll see how clear it goes. Well, it's been about 10 minutes and the weather's starting to change. You can see it's not cleared up very well. However, I'm spotting lots of Daphnia here, right on the, in the shallow bit. And you can see them dancing around. But to make it easier, well there they are. How incredible are them. And all they do is just go around looking for tiny little bits of algae which look like M&M's to them and get them munched up but at the same time if you've got fish in your pond these little Daphnia they look like M&M's to fish that's why you can't keep them together however you could have one tank for Daphnia which is what I used to do and then feed the fish with them to keep the balance but once you've got clear water then the Daphnia just sorts of balances itself out but how incredible are them? 
weird little things, but fascinating. And here's the rain coming again, but before it does, let's just plop a piece of white paper in there. just kicked all the shade up but you should be able to see the Daphne a lot easier in a minute or two there you go an absolute abundance of life that's over here anyway but as for the other container that's still proper green because over there there's not quite as much stuff now as what there is over here so this pond needs topping up and the Daphne that's going to be in there are going to need feeding so let's switch this on and get it topped up and the other great thing for the Daphnia is now they can actually see outside into the nice environment instead of just looking at four grey walls. So they're going to get a view something like this. Here comes the nice green water, which is now going to top up down here to replace the water which we've put in here and also at the same time over in the top half the Daphne from the top is going down into the main reservoir putting some extra Daphne in there. So there we go that's them topped up and some of the Daphnia from there will be going over the overflow and then it travels back down and into the green vat so there will be even more Daphnia going into there as we speak but I don't want to lose too much and they've got a top up now so I'm going to switch that off And this is where the Daphne will end up back in there so over the next few weeks now that'll colonize up and munch all that green water and that'll go crystal clear hopefully fingers crossed well as you can see it's getting dark which is a great opportunity whilst we're waiting for this tank to settle and look nice and clean to try out some new LEDs which I got for Christmas and look at that still murky but look at those bubbles that's half the reason we can't see through the glass millions and millions of tiny tiny little bubbles look like part of the universe and we're going to come back and look at this tomorrow in the daylight to see if the wee beasties are moved in and the water's clearing up. And these lights and the smoke machine are both available on Amazon, so I'll pop in a link in the description below. So make sure. Well, it's the day after, and it's still not very, very clear, as you can see. However, there is lots and lots and lots of Daphnia just hanging out on the side of the tank look there we go beautiful little dudes and they're just going to clear the water up over the next few days 
I was hoping it would have been crystal clear by now. And right at the top there, somehow, must have come in with the first lot of Daphnia. There's a little snail as well. Woohoo! We well, here we are, and it's been exactly one week since we started doing this. So it did take a little bit longer to clear up than I thought, which was the original 10 minutes. However, there is an abundance of life in there now. Let's see if we can take a closer look. And wake up these little dudes with a little stick. Absolutely incredible. So there we go, an absolute abundance of life now, as you can see in there. But of course there's only one thing left to do now, and that's to get them fed again. So let's get the water back on. And thanks for watching, thanks for liking, don't forget to subscribe to see how long it takes for the big vat to go nice and clear.